All right, Josh, a uh, big night for you, and you guys come into Harlan. Not an easy place to come into, and you get the win. Just what's it mean to get the win tonight? Uh, just our defense as a team. I thought we talked really good, and we also re limited uh, their offensive possessions by getting a lot of defensive rebounds. Yeah, well, uh, what were some other things the defense did really well tonight? Uh, I thought our big guys switched really good onto their guards, and then our closeouts were pretty good on their shooters too. How about offensively? Uh, when they went man, our big guys did a really good job just getting the ball. And then zone, uh, we hit. A, we uh, didn't shoot as good, but we got a lot of rebounds and stuff to get more offensive possessions. 20 points for you tonight. Um, what was your secret? Uh, just people were finding me open, and then uh, my big guys were setting really good screens for me to get me open was all. Looking ahead, you guys are now 8-0 on the season. Obviously a great start. What's this team capable of? Uh, we're capable of a lot of things. A lot of people don't believe in us, but I think we can go really far. What are some things maybe you guys would like to work on here in the next couple of weeks? Uh, just staying engaged throughout the whole game, not uh, giving up, and like uh, just pushing through all four quarters. All right, Coach, uh, you guys come into Harlan, a battle of state-ranked unbeatens, and you prevail on top pretty convincingly. Just your thoughts? Uh the first game after break is always a little dicey, um, you know, for both teams. Um, so we were, I thought we were really sluggish offensively, but defensively uh, we kind of got into our rhythm and really pressured the ball and uh, did some good things there. You guys went on something like a 24-7 to run or something there in the first and second quarter. What was working offensively during that spurt? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure if we, we played great offensively. See you guys. Um, but we rebounded really well. I know Noah Sambo, they had a couple big putbacks, two or three in a row that uh, really sparked us and got us going. Um, and then from there, I think you're right, we really attacked the paint pretty hard against the zone. You guys uh, look like clearly have the size advantage tonight with Harlow. Is that something you guys kind of came in wanting to exploit? Uh, yeah, we thought they would be in zone, which makes it a little bit harder at times. Um, but, yeah, we definitely, the whole emphasis was to attack the paint, to try to get Christian, Matt, um, Noah, some touches in there, and then play off of those guys. Harlan was averaging like 71 points a game. You guys had them down to 17 through three quarters. What were you guys doing well defensively? Um, we were, you know, we were just switching with good energy. Um, the nice thing is our big guys work really hard in practice to where they can switch on the guards and still do a pretty good job guarding the ball. And them being able to do that was huge tonight because Harlan runs, runs a ton of ball screens. So um, that was really good for us. I know it's non-con and it's early in the season, but this isn't an easy place to play. What does it mean to come in here and get a win? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're absolutely right. Harlan's obviously such a great tradition of basketball, and Mitch is a, you know, he's the best. You know what I mean? Around in Iowa, so um, it's always hard to come here and, and get a win. Um, so I was just happy defensively. Our kids really, really did a good job, and that's what kind of separated us. How do you guys build off this win going forward? Uh, we, we got this is I told our guys coming out of break we have our toughest stretch Harlan's obviously great they run defeated we have a Bellevue West team who's loaded um, a really good team and then we were at Sioux City East so we just have to keep working and getting back in the lab and, and get better every day.